Oh, that is not wood. And that is definitely not normal. Oh my god. For the past few months, my viewers have been sending me mods they made themselves. And today, I'll be adding a mod every single day for the next 100 days and trying to survive while this world collapses in on itself like a dying star. Perfect. We have a village. These guys are truly lucky. If I'm here, we are not following the Geneva Conventions. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're starting with, quote, it's Jim Easy Starter mod, uh, end quote. We already have meteors, TNT that spawns in the ground, and no wood. Oh, never mind. There's a shipwreck. We are cooking with crude oil. Okay, that's not supposed to spawn there. This also doesn't look right. Um, I don't know. Uh, that was probably going to happen. Boom, boom, boom. Task failed successfully. That helped me out. Okay, I'm gonna liberate this house and boom. Their newly elected dictator is home. And since it's after midnight, we're gonna give them, you know, a nice mod to start day two off with. You know, I wanna find something easy, something nice. Utter chaos. That looks good. Oh, oh no. I already see name tags. See, this is perfect. It sounds like a great construction site. Is that a diamond sword? All right, I'm just gonna step outside real quick for another beautiful day here in South Jersey. Is that the Queen of England? Oh, no, no. I don't know what remastered implies. What goes through your guys' head? I will not die on day one. Oh, what? Shot by spider. Anyways, it's day two now, and I think before I go mining, I have to invest everything I can into more protection from you guys. New armor, expanded my base. On day three, I started a wall around my base using a block I found outside. It was definitely made by one of you guys because it's called macaroni time, and you spelled macaroni incorrectly. Day four, I continued the wall and mined some more shipwrecks and installed the custom armor mod. I figured, you know, you'd give me some cute MS Paint drawing of armor. No, this makes every single block in Minecraft craftable into armor. Again, I've made the vast mistake of a Assuming you all had lives. It's finally time to go mining and see what beautiful ores God has spawned for me. So I've spent days five, six, and seven finishing the wall and installing three new mods. Topaz mod, sheep dog, and new it's gym thing. With some new tools from Topaz, I think we're ready to go. Boom, boom, we're off. Shall we go in? Kobe. Oh, thank you guys for adding abysses. The one thing that Minecraft was missing. Oh my God, what is that? Is that a car? Oh my God, we are on day seven. What are these ores? Cars two? What is cars two? to Orcraft. <laughs> Cars 2 Blu-ray DVD. This does not help me. Why do you guys make blocks, then make them invincible, and then make them spawn everywhere? I can't mine any of these. Okay, this is the last thing. I'm pushing my luck here. Somehow I have not died yet. Okay, home sweet. No, 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 no. <sighs> Boom, here we go. All right, he's right there. Threat eliminated. There's a spider somewhere in here. Uh, oh, oh my. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh, what is that? Moth of aggravation. God, are you... Okay, just gonna sneak right past you. Perfect, we're set. We are going straight up. I am not taking any chances. Okay, here we go. For the love of God, why? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. What is that? When I said that I was gonna survive these mods, I was talking mentally, not physically. We're just gonna wait through the night up here. Okay, I think we're ready. There's a spider somewhere. Uh, all right, here we go. Don't see... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 it's the moth, it's the moth. No, 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 no. I'm out, perfect, and we survive another night. Now we've gotta go back to the base and make some more advancements, and then I wanna go on a real expedition and explore uh, stuff like this. And we're back to our peaceful home, the stock have never been higher. I spent days eight and nine getting some new tools and putting some torches around my base. I got a monochrome pickaxe and I also got a glass of water, which I, I thought was a weapon, but I actually don't know what it does. It'll probably kill me. Speaking of not knowing about things, there's also a sanity level. I'm sorry, I haven't talked about it yet because I don't know what it does, but it goes down randomly. I have no clue what happens when it hits zero. On days 10 and 11, I added a new door to my base and repurposed someone's house as a cute new tank for my axolotl. And and mowed down some more houses to begin expanding my home into a mansion. And after researching some history, it's very clear to me that to improve society, we need to invest into agriculture. And what better way than installing my McDonald's mods? Plural. I tore down some local McDonald's that spawned and manifest destinyed them all uh, into my village. God, I love agriculture. On day 12, I got killed by a witch multiple times because every mob here is on steroids. So I installed the All About Ball Pits mod, which gave me plastic armor, and the PvP Plus mod, which gave me the bow. And to make sure that I never get killed again on days 14 and 15, I installed both Chernobyl mods I got sent. Now no one will die. We did it, Patrick. We reached enriched uranium. I 
and then wasted day 16 uh, trying to install diamond armor mod. It's not a real mod. It, it, you can't, it's just a prank. Anyways, I finished my house and then it was time to invest the rest of my mods into preparing for exploration. So I took the next 11 days to install 11 new exploration mods, some certified hood classics such as Despair and Plain Biome, also Ohio Mod.jar. I also decided to install every mod I've made from my own videos that has to do with world generation. During the 11 days while I waited, I built a nuclear reactor, finished the McDonald's, and did some housekeeping stuff like finally finding a forest to get wood nearby. Alright, it's finally day 27 and it's time to go. Armed with fries, Big Mac, mug root beer, German stick grenade, and a couple splash potions of Discord moderator. But of course, how are we going to explore? I have that covered. Please ignore this. I take damage from everything now. I'm like an old person with joint pain. The Boeing 748 mod. This is truly an industrial marvel. I think that's a drawing of a Boeing 747. You know what? No, this mod is coming off. Despair mod jar. I can't take damage every time I jump. Mind blocks, eat, sleep, press the R key, press the seven key, space, tabs, shift. The only time I'm going to do this, but I have to remove a mod. With that done, Spirit Airlines is set to take off. There's a few sites that I'd like to see specifically. Ohio biome, uh, blood, which is a biome, and the Endros dimension, which has portals that spawn for it. They have really cool golems. That's all I want out of this. Also oil, there's oil. We need to get the oil. Oh, that does not look good. Oh, this is the Ohio biome. Okay, it adds one thing. It adds a stair and it's called camel. That's it. That's everything it adds. And it looks just like Ohio. They did a great job with this one. I'm terrified because it's becoming night here and my plane despawned. Things have taken a sharp turn for the worse. Oh, thank God. Dan TDM's base, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I will be taking all of this. Thank you. Wait a minute. Are these what I think they are? The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. I will not give up on my search for that portal. Nothing bad has ever happened from a little too much radiation. Goodness gracious, there it is. There's the portal. All right, let's go get our oil. Better than the Aether. This is like the Avatar world, and I'm that bad guy who is trying to poach them. This is a hostile world. Oh, no, it's another moth. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, that is a bad combination. See, this is just like Avatar. Mowing down these native species. I came here for the golems, though, and there's no golems. Fleetus Smargdi. See, this is what I wanted. He's got that top hat. Jeff Bezos swag. Ignore that. Ignore that. The question is, how do I bring him home and put him in a little, you know, animal sanctuary? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Listen, I... The no! I'm so far away. I had everything on me. After all of my hard work spawning him, the following is like two hours of footage condensed down to 15 seconds. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh. I was saving these for later, but this is for the... Uh, no, no, no. I don't know what to do. I've lost all of my food, all of my armor, tools. Day 28, I've lost everything. I'm just gonna dig a hole and I'm just gonna die in it. You know what? No. They may have taken everything, but they haven't taken two things. Our hustle and grind. We need to make better weapons. We need to embrace the free market. Tell everyone who disagrees. Expand the population. Make better armor. Install more mods that are peaceful. More McDonald's employees. Nuclear arsenal. We need inspiration to not let our dreams, dreams die. Are still possible we just need Kimchi and elk. Day 30, revenge. The best armor in the game, the best tools Discord can offer. I offer them peace and love, nothing more. Let's go free some animals. All right, this is it, the last dance. Totem of Spirit Airlines, the power of flight. This one is dedicated to animals. Here we go, hit it. One, two, three, four, I did it. I, we we saved them. Wow, these guys really live in a dump. Thank God we're getting them out of here. Great, my stuff. Ah, perfect. What was the point of that? Ah, I forgot. Oil. Finally, I've brought my village peace. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. John 1427. Anyways, it's time for a next stage of mods, but at this point, I think it's time to install our first texture pack. Gym pack three. God, that's what I like to see. Oh, is that chef 2014? Oh, oh. First of all, this is a great idea for a lot of you. You guys need the army. Is this all just one massive advertising campaign. 
not expecting that. Uh, it's a very base texture pack. It's day 31 now, and we've got to get ready to go to the nether. I need new food because the McDonald's employees will no longer trade with me. I think one of them walked into the oil, and they blame me. This thing has claimed like 50 lives already. We'll take the Kayatsk mod, Copper Potato, and Beet Mishkis. The beets spawn naturally, so I can spend the next three days assembling a mega farm to grind beets. On day 34, I started working on a solid gold expansion to my house just to stunt on these villagers. To build it though, I have to tear down some more world heritage sites. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the world generation is getting slower and slower as we go on. And using the massive supply of iron, I've started work on a transcontinental railway. And just like the real transcontinental railroad, I get to exercise eminent domain. This also took a few days, so I installed Jim Glock Gene, which I know adds social credit, and Ravenger, which just, you know, spices up the world a little bit. And I think now, before we go to the nether, it's finally time to take one for the team and install all of the Among Us mods I've got sent. Just Command F, Among Us. It's time. I, I gotta take one for the team. Okay, there's only four left. There's a lot that we have already installed. I just haven't found them yet. So I just built a mantle on top of my fireplace and got ready to collect them, like rare Pokemon. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there's one. Staff of Sus, Amosus, Sus Shrine. I hit myself. Oh, no. Uh, thank you for teleporting me to the end. I... Ugh, okay. Well, you gave me my stuff. Um... For the love of God. I can't believe I did that. Boom, it's done. We'll find the rest later. Okay, I wanted to get to day 50 before we go to the nether. So I'm just gonna reach into this goodie bag of needles. I'm just gonna pull 10 out. Specifically the ones that I don't know a lot about. I see some gaming PCs. Uh, oh. I just wonder what my key binds are. Uh, fart, seven, gravity releasing. Make Jim swear, open shop, backpack. Hold on, ice cream. Your free will. Ice cream. Oh. Kills entities. 20 range. Oh my god. We are going to abuse this. I then dropped in my six nether mods and then put all these days to good use on some charity projects. The It's Gym Zoo for Poor People, which is just a vast collection of the different entities that you guys have made, such as Roomba and Ravenger. Let's build this portal. Perfect. We need to build this far away from anything that I care about because I don't know what's gonna come crawling out of this. Let's put it right here, middle of the village, and we're done. What's the worst that could happen? I know this is illegal, but before we go in, I just, I have to see what I'm missing out on. Just the treasures that are here that I can't access. Oh, arm cannon? God, there's so much stuff. Obama crystal spawn egg? I just had to take a look at it, I'm sorry. All right, let's go. The suspense is killing me. Oh, it says, welcome to Australia. That is definitely their flag. Um. Oh. I am not phased whatsoever. I can't believe it actually took us until day 56 to crash. I'm trying to figure out what's causing this. We, I've been stuck for 45 minutes, guys. Figured it out. It was one of my own world generation mods that was causing it. Wish me luck. Wow. Australia. Okay, we got a fortress right here. My FPS dropping. That's the kangaroo. Oh, oh, this is not good. We gotta get out of here. I can't move. We can't make it to the portal. There's only one way. See you guys on the other side. No, no, this, this won't work either. I know. The one way to get out of here. If you just can't take it anymore. Find it decay. All right. The escape button. Uh, just ignore what just happened. We have to go rebuild the portal. Far away from here. Okay, perfect. Okay. We have to get out of here. And quickly, gosh. There is Australian paraphernalia everywhere. Australian block. We're home free. Oh, those are definitely the kangaroos. That was definitely what was causing the lag. If I set my render distance to two, I can survive most of this. This is still just the most hostile environment. Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, they multiply. You have to get out of here. <laughs> For the love of God. Okay, let's see real quick. This is horrible. This is a blunt depiction of hell. Please just get away. Oh, okay, we're set. Oh no, they're right there. They're multiplying right there. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Boom. We have to go all the way back. All right, love of God. All right, all right, good. Oh God, I'm lagging. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, I found another. We just have to make this quick. I've got seven. I would like nine. Oh, no. No. Okay, come on, come on. Yes. Um, oh, no. Please, dear God, no. I can't make it. There's only one way. Nope. It's, just go, just go. Okay. Well, home sweet home. 
This has been a fever dream. On day 60, I grabbed my blaze rods and immediately went far, far away from my base to build a bunker to put them in. I have no clue if my base will blow up and I don't want to go back to the nether. It's day 61 now and I'm setting my sights on raiding a mansion next, but for now I've got to expand the farm. And because I missed four days because of the nether, it's time to install four new mods. I've got Loxy Keybinds, Procedure, Iron Ore, and Morbius. And I don't want to know what's in Morbius. God, I forgot about this one. It spawns brown every time I walk. Oh, can't you guys give me something normal? If George not found asked for this stuff, again, I'll say it, he would get something else. He would get something, he would get flowers. On day 62 through 64, I expanded the nuclear reactor because I downloaded mod mod mod, which gives me more uranium. So then I just decided to install all of the uranium mods that I was given. I don't know why you guys gave me so many. Also on day 65, tragedy struck because I realized that one of these gives me a stack of Rick Roll every time I mine a block. So I just started filling people's houses with Rick Roll. But then I decided to put it all to use, expanding the Transcontinental Railway. On this day, I installed the Kudalu mod for Reese's Puffs, but they actually just poisoned me. I guess I should have seen that coming. On day 66 to 68, I installed the best mod ever, which is actually just a Costco mod. And using the uranium, which just happens to be an infinite supply of fuel, I was able to create the most efficient system ever of pumping out a new Costco. I have truly brought my village democracy. At some point in this video, a saxophone got bound to my face. I don't know how to get rid of it, but it's there. Day 69 through 72, I put all the blocks that I found through this video to good use, expanding my home into an actual mansion. These past days, I needed some mods too, so I installed Carton, Creative Tab, Fake Dirt, Gold Axe, Bambi, and I couldn't think of a name that jar. You know, if I would have guessed which mod here would have been the most cursed, I would definitely say Morbius, but whoever made Bambi, what is this? I, this? I don't understand any of this. On day 72 to 78, I began adding items to my wall of items that I have in my house. I also remade the zoo, mined uranium from the Brazil dimension to lace my village wall with uranium. And okay, magically, I, I don't know how, I don't understand, but all of the Rick Roll disappeared. I don't know where, I don't know what mod added it. I, I've looked everywhere. It's all gone. The entire railroad is gone. You guys don't get it. I've searched my entire computer. I don't know where it came from, but just as mysteriously as it appeared, it's gone. <laughs> On these days, we also needed some mods, so I installed A and Land Sonic, Mother, Help, I Bag, Fake, Plants vs. Zombies mod, and Funny Mod Thing, which actually, um, spawns creepers every time I press W. It's time for the mansion now, so I dragged and dropped the rest of my exploration mods and built a small heliport on top of my farm and set off and definitely did not cheat to find the mansion. Before I left, though, I made significant investments into my nuclear portfolio. I don't think that I've actually been alive to see one of these go off. I also invested the rest of my sus ingots. I hate that I said that, into crafting some new boots. I also found this cool hat from the fleetest Smargy dimension and got a new sword. God, the mansion is not running too hot. Okay, your creations will never cease to amaze me. Wow, the natural flora and fauna of the It's Gym YouTube channel community. Most players would go through the front door, but life moves a little slower around here and that's just the way we like it. This thing is so incredibly corrupted. I have never seen a mansion that has spawned like this. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, you guys live like this? There's just Chernobyl in the middle of your home. All right, what is going on? Oh my god. What is that? What is that? Okay. All right, I think we've cased this entire property. I have to do one last thing. Gold. One of my key vines. All right, perfect. Oh, I feel lag. It worked. Wow, perfect. This looks great. I ran back home and dropped off my stuff on day 86. Disc, totem, and emerald. Perfect. They're all dead just for those three things. As we wind down our 100 days here and get ready to go to the end, I decided to install my final exploration mods just to see what 92 days of mods does to world generation. I also spent these days mining diamonds and Dan TDM bases to top off my nuclear supply. We are truly ready to defend ourselves. Okay, we're ready for a Sunday stroll through our war in hellscape. Oh, I don't like that. This world is ripping itself apart. Oh my god, you guys added California? Well, now my game is completely crashed. There's a solid probability now that every time I restart the game, it won't even open. It just crashes. There's one other thing that I've been saving for the very end, too. We gotta take a chunk air and fill it with bedrock. And okay, this is like one-eighth of all of the eggs that you guys have given me. I just want to spawn every single mob and see what happens. An absolute menagerie of f and Hotel Transylvania. Okay. Ignore what just happened. We've got a drag and drop our final suiting up mods that I've saved for the very end. The best armor for the- 
The best armor and weapons you all have cursed me with. The plasma armor, the matter sword, the matter cannon. I don't know what that means. I'd also like to say goodbye to my village. Everyone is dead. I brought them peace, security, and money. Also, Fleetus, you're free. I've got the nukes, the beats. We have to test one last thing too. I've never gotten the sanity down to zero. Fleetus, kill me. 1510, the hardest choices require the strongest wills. Five, wow, that's what we've been missing out on. I got my blaze rods and installed the final odds and ends. I found the one last villager. Everyone else is dead. You finally want to trade with me. I killed him. That's a horrible trade. It's time to go defend ourselves. You dare attack my villagers? No one should ever harm them. I like how this video has taken me almost 100 IRL days. For the love of God, please subscribe to me. We're close. I can already taste the sweet taste of getting my life back. This one's for the boys back home. Here we go. Get away from me. Nothing, nothing is going to stop me. Oh, no, no, no. The sanity. No, 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 no. Just go, just go. You know what? You know what I want to say?